Yes, I got a haircut. Can we please move on? Thank you. Class, have a seat. Today we're going to have a history lesson. In today's history class, we'll be talking about the history of the postcard. Postcard, a great flat way of uh, sending your friend a note, letting them know where you are and that you're thinking of them. This is one I got from my good friend Gregory Rollins some time back. Um, the postcard was invented in 1604, uh, right about the time that Pony Express went public. Once their IPO hit, they started trading publicly. Stocks went through the roof. It was it was incredible. But that's another history lesson. Pony Express, um, they were the like the bike messengers of the day. They were real hardcore. They didn't wear helmets. They always had scraped up knees. They passed each other really fast. And of course, they didn't ride bicycles. They rode ponies. Now, ponies are a very small, weak animal. Uh, interesting choice for transportation and carrying things. Uh, ponies were always buckling under the weight of heavy bags of mail. Their legs would break. It was brutal. There was no humane society at the time, so there was no monitoring. Um, so even though the envelope had just been invented, uh, which provided much privacy for a letter writer, uh, they were outlawed. They were killing too many ponies. Envelopes kill ponies. They're too heavy. Way too heavy. So, for that time, for the time being, here in America, we stuck with the postcard. Uh, until the early 1970s when we were able to genetically modify and create large, heavy horses. Um, that's when we started using envelopes for the most part. There you have it. That's the history of the postcard. Why am I talking about postcards? Because I'm getting ready to go on tour in a couple of days. I'll be traveling around the Midwest playing some shows, some uh, house shows, some bars, some coffee shops, some street corners probably. Um, and while I'm on tour, I will send you a postcard if you want. All you have to do is give me a recommendation for a city that I'm in. So you can look through uh, my tour schedule on my website, pick a city, and maybe you'll say, uh, hey, Mike, when you're in Chicago, you should check out this coffee shop. They have really good coffee or something like that. I'll even make it easier. Even if you've never been to this city, you can say, um, hey, Mike, when you're in Madison, Wisconsin, you should take a nice hot bath. You know, just give me a recommendation for a city. Write it on my Facebook wall. Uh, not my personal one, like my music page. I'll put a link below. And I will consider your recommendation but I will send you a postcard from that city. So, um, yeah, put your thinking caps on, and I hope to see you out there in person. If not, I will uh, see you in the mailbox.